Hey friend, you are back with the Aries Alchemist for another general tarot reading. This one is for my Leos. So if you're a Leo, Sun, Moon, or Rising, something in this is for you. And let's see what's going on. Ooh, starting off with the Sun card. Starting off positive. The Observer in Reverse. The Knight of Swords. Lovers in reverse. And one more. The high priestess in reverse. Let's go ahead and clarify those and then I'll get into what they mean. Okay, so the sun and the nine of cups. The first thing I heard was that you guys kind of had beef with somebody, somebody close to you, but it was just a genuine miscommunication. So it's like now you're in a better space where you can see like, you know what, maybe this, okay, I have a funny story for you guys actually real quick that this just reminded me of. Me and my best friend Miriam, this was years ago, but she had an Android and I had an iPhone. And so like some of the emojis don't look the same. So I can't remember which one of us initiated it, but one of us sent a hammer, but it showed up as a gavel on the other person's phone. So it was like, whatever it was, it didn't go with the conversation based on, you know, which phone you had. So let's just say we were talking about being a judge or something like that, because I can't exactly remember. But so... We're talking about being a judge and I send a gavel and she's like, why did you send me a hammer? That doesn't make any sense. And I'm like, why would I send a hammer? This is clearly a gavel. So it's like, we're going back and forth. And we started low key getting mad after a little bit until I screenshot it and sent it to her. And I'm like, bro, you cannot be telling me that this looks like a hammer. This is so clearly a gavel. Then she sent the screenshot and that's how we were able to see like, oh my gosh, we're not even having the same conversation because it really was not the same emoji, but there was no way that we could have known that the two phones were not, or the two operating systems were not on the same page. So that's pretty much like the vibe that I'm getting with this. It was a genuine miscommunication just because you guys didn't know what you didn't know. And you were both steadfast in your own viewpoint because you were both right. But you guys are finally coming out of that. But Spirit is saying that this was really just a lesson though on you to give grace because you are going to have miscommunications because there's always going to be times where you just don't know what you don't know and it just takes some time and effort to make sure that you guys are on the same page that's what your title is going to be about ask more questions are you on the same page Because that's really the only way around it. Okay, so then you have the Knight of Swords and the Nine of Swords. So for some of you, this is still going to like make you feel a way because the anxiety of future conversations and what miscommunications can possibly prop up. And then you start overthinking with the lovers and the death in reverse about like, all of the relationships you could possibly lose because you just don't know what you don't know and that's causing you with the high priestess and the four cups in reverse to be more paranoid which will make it a self-fulfilling prophecy pretty much so learn your lesson from this but don't dwell on it don't let it consume you or anything like that because it's unavoidable but understand that as long as you are practicing grace you can overcome it each time and it'll be okay It'll never be that serious. And it's okay to just be like, if it starts getting heated, like, look, I can tell that we're both getting passionate about this topic. Let's pause it and come back when we're chilling. That way it doesn't go too far, too. And we'll end with a cannabis oracle, something from the Major Arcana. Strawberry cough, sativa, that's the same one Aries got. So if you have Aries placements too, even though you're Leo, look up that reading. But it says the Empress, you have it all. Know your value and get respect. That's the part that is mostly standing out to me here for you. 
knowing your value as far as you know what you can bring as far as your communication skills what questions can you ask and how can you find common ground in a way that you're able to keep the peace as much as possible with the people that you love but that's what i have for you guys today if anything resonated please like comment share and subscribe to the channel i drop videos every day sometimes on sunday if you want a personal reading though you want more information about your own storyline you can book that through the link in the description box all right y'all peace